Our second Ubisoft game received a lot of interest at E3 this year. Zombie U is a survival horror first-person shooter guaranteed to get your heart racing. The city of London has been afflicted with a terrible plague and you are one of the few survivors against a horde of zombies. Let's take a look at some gameplay. As I mentioned, the game takes place in London. And now we are looking at some footage of a brand new location, the Tower of London. Just one of the great features in this game is that when you die, you carry on in the game as a new survivor. Not only that, your old character is now a zombie, still carrying all your old equipment, meaning you have to track them down if you want to get it back. For a super tough challenge, there is also survival mode. This mode challenges you to play the game with just one character and just one life. There are many great gameplay features in Zombie U that make use of the Wii U gamepad. Here we see the weapon crafting feature. This takes place inside your safe house and is done directly on the touch screen of the Wii U gamepad. There are 50 different items to hunt down in the game, with which to upgrade your weapons. These will increase attributes like firepower or accuracy. Also related to weaponry is a new weapon handling feature. Choose your favorite weapon and the more you use it, the better your weapon skills become, causing your character to level up. Increased weapon handling will improve factors like your aiming speed, reloading speed, and recoil. There is a catch though. If your survivor dies, you will lose the skills you are attained. So try to keep him alive as long as possible. The next feature is a really interesting use of the Wii U gamepad. As you play through Zombie U, you might want to leave a message of symbols for a fellow survivor who is playing online. You can do this using the spray can and other players can use their scanners to read your message. Of course, you can read the message too, but be careful. Are you sure you can trust the person who left it there? Finally, today we are going to look at some online and social aspects of Zombie U. When other online Zombie U players become infected, they will actually appear as zombies in your game. The great part is you can attack them and steal their backpack and equipment. You can also keep tabs on any of your own survivors who became infected and see where they are and how many people they attacked. There will also be leaderboards to compare your survivor's statistics. Could you be the ultimate survivor? Zombie U will be available on Wii U launch day. There is one more piece of Zombie U news I'd like to share with you today. We are preparing a limited edition Zombie U Premium Pack, including a black Wii U console and a black Wii U Pro Controller, to be available from launch day. A Zombie U Wii U bundle for you. <laughs> EA Sports FIFA is recognized as the biggest and best sports game on the planet. It's a franchise that's known for its authenticity, innovation, and connection to the real world of football. We are very pleased that FIFA 13 will be coming to Wii U, delivering revolutionary new ways to play FIFA that brings players of all abilities together, making it the most accessible FIFA console game ever made. Mass Effect from BioWare is another franchise that you will soon be able to enjoy on Wii U. We have Wii U Mass Effect 3 Special Edition footage to show you. Let's take a look. Mass Effect 3 Special Edition is the most recent entry in a highly popular series of science fiction action games with the RPG element. The third game in the series takes players through an emotional story filled with memorable characters in a fight to save the galaxy. Players will experience intense third-person shooter combat. And with Wii U, the gamepad will provide a new level of tactical control over the battlefield. 
In addition, the Wii U version will begin with an interactive backstory comic revealing the events leading up to the beginning of the game. It will also include extended cut content at the end of the game. Mass Effect 3 Special Edition will also be launched in Europe the same day as Wii U. Now I'd like to move to something a little different and show you some Wii U downloadable games that will be available from Nintendo eShop this year. We have had great support on many of our platforms, but we are delighted to be offering a fantastic lineup of quality downloadable titles that really show off the skills of a wide range of development teams. First up is Trine 2, director's cuts from the Frozen Bite. This is a Wii U exclusive version of the original Trine 2 game with new modes and features. Here we are showing a brand new level exclusive to Wii U. This level is called Dwarven Caverns and features content with quite a different style to the other stages. The game will support four players both locally or via Nintendo network. You can also see how stunning the game is visually and the Wii U version has been enhanced it with features including new controller options, new gameplay and level changes. It's a magical puzzle platformer experience in an enchanted world you don't want to miss. Tokitori has a history with Nintendo, going back to the popular Game Boy Color title from 2001. The brand new Tokitori 2 from Two Tribes will use a unique interaction between the Wii U gamepad and the TV to offer up new ideas and gameplay. Here you can see how easy and smooth it is to switch between the gamepad and console. The game also moves from the traditional stage-based game to an open-world puzzler. There will be a level editor allowing fans to create stages directly on the gamepad screen and see the result on the TV in real time. This is a great example of innovative use of the Wii U console's features. Expect to see Tokitori on Wii U first later this year. Finally, let's see some gameplay from Nano Assault Neo, which I'm happy to tell you is another Wii U exclusive. Developers Shinen have created a visually arresting shooter, which uses a Wii U control sticks in twin stick style gameplay. The gamepad can be used to modify your ship, and you also have the option to play the game on the gamepad alone. To do this, you just touch the gamepad to pause your game, modify if you like, and carry on playing the game just on the gamepad. Next, I'd like to talk about the LEGO City Undercover from TT Games and LEGO, which we introduced at E3. In the game, you step into the shoes of Chase McCain, an undercover cop on a mission to end the city crime wave. Let's take a look at some new story elements. Hi there, I'm Chase. Yeah, it's the guy you told me about. Chase McCain! <laughs> Meddling fool, making me hire some special chief brought in from overseas. Chase McCain? Dunby! Uh, 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 who's that? Uh, oh, I, I was just resting my eyes and my arms and my legs. Settle down, people. Hey, Harry. How many coffees have you had? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Did I have six shots or only five? Well... Okay, you've had enough. Right. I'm gonna take this from the top. The mayor thinks we should be looking for this man, Rex Fury. He's a giant! As you can see, this game is packed full of humor, but it's packed full of gameplay too. There are some special uses of the Wii U gamepad. For example, you can use it to scan for hidden criminals and also to call dispatch for new missions. Well, have you caught those clowns yet? Yes, Chief. Then go and deal with the roadblock on Auburn Bay Bridge. Those rookies have made a mess of it, and I doubt you can make it any worse. Another core feature of the game is our hero's ability to disguise himself. 
He can go undercover as a miner or even as a fellow thief. The miner might blow up rocks to find hidden locations, for example. There are over 100 of these actions for each disguise. So you can see the depth this feature brings to the game. No police officer would save the city unless he could fight criminals. Here we see some fighting action chase style. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. Chase also has a variety of ways to get across the city. He can use his parkour skills. He can use a whole variety of different vehicles, over 100 of them including a cars, boats, and a helicopters. The last thing I'd like to show you is this exclusive minifig of Chase McCain himself. This will come included with the first copies of the game, but it's limited edition, so make sure you don't miss out. Are you stupid? Somebody, get him to the chopper. I, I mean hospital. Uh, now who's going to cover his shift? You. Give him your clothes, your helmet, and your hammer. No, it's okay. I'll find another one. <laughs>